Hello, this is Vicky. I'm the head teacher at Oscott Manor School, and this is a short message to give you information about what education provision will be available for your child in June and July. Following the government's announcement on Sunday that there would be a phased reopening of schools from the 1st of June, many of you have contacted us with questions and queries about what that looks like for your child. We know that you need clear information to be able to prepare your child for any changes. And so this message really is designed to give you as much information as possible um, so that you can do that effectively. As you may or may not have seen in the press, nine of the unions representing school staff are opposing the current government proposals um, because they would like more information about how staff and pupils can be kept safe. Many of you have echoed their concerns in the, in the parent surveys that have been completed this week and 61 parents completed the parent survey and shared detailed views about um, schools reopening. Lots of you were concerned about social distancing and from a school perspective, it was really heartening to see how many of you showed compassion and concern for the welfare of our staff as well as that of your own children and families. So thank you for your kindness and compassion there. We've taken your views into account and considered all of the risk factors, also looking at how many of our staff are available for work and what the risk factors are for them in terms of race, ethnicity, age, gender and medical vulnerabilities. With this in mind and in consultation with you and Governors, the school will remain virtually open in June and July. This means that we will not expect any children to access on-site provision, but we will continue to do daily safe and well calls, update home learning weekly, YouTube will be updated every day and so will Class Dojo for every class. A free school funded laptop will be provided for every child that wants one. And if your child is um, safer at school than they are at home, or if you're a key worker parent who urgently needs to go back to work and needs us to provide childcare for your child, you can still contact us and request provision. However, I would urge you to consider the fact that your child won't be in their usual classroom with their usual class staff. And I would also ask you to bear in mind that there is a, a lead time for schools to reinstate transport and organise personal protective equipment if necessary. And this may delay us being able to take immediate action. I hope this message is clear. As always, I'm happy to answer any questions. So if you'd like to contact me directly, please do so using the mobile number on the school website. Thank you very much.